Hey guys, so before I start this video, in this video I want to compare just uh, um, in a little bit the UI, the Mi Note, uh, with the MI UI version 8. Uh, I want to compare the latest OnePlus 3T's uh, UI uh, with the latest Android and also the iPhone's iOS a uh, little bit. Uh, but first I want to say I do have an official Instagram page called Adrian Eisen Official and I do have an image right there of all of my phones it has 781 likes right now and I will leave a link in the description to this image uh, I would love to get this image up to 1000 likes I would see uh, you know because I never had a photo on my Instagram page uh, which has reached 1000 likes it would be pretty cool if it did so if you do have an Instagram account it would be pretty awesome to um, get 1000 likes as you can see it's soon it's at 800 likes so it's only 200 more likes needed that would be awesome uh, but yeah let's uh, uh, put this phone to the side uh, because uh, we don't need it so here we have three very very big phones I mean they're, they're all kind of like the same size and if we use turn them around here you can see that everyone is very, very slim and um, they all have the fingerprint sensor. This one is interesting because you can you need to tap on the side to uh, open it up. This one also. So let's see here which one is more beautiful. Let's see. I'm just gonna. This screen looks very very dark. So the first thing I can see is that uh, the screen that looks like it's the brightest seems to be the OnePlus 3T. Very very bright display. This one seems to be the lowest with MIUI version. Uh, I don't know why exactly. I mean it does look good. It looks good more from this angle but when you push it down the viewing angle is a little bit worse than what you would get on a OnePlus 3T or an, or an iPhone. The iPhone are also extremely good display uh, in viewing angles, but it's not exactly as bright, I think, as this one. It could also be because of the wallpaper, but I don't think so. So you can see that both the OnePlus 3T, and uh, no, this one, uh, OnePlus 3T is the only phone here with uh, kind of like an app drawer. Here uh, you have all of the apps on the home screen. Uh, same as with the, the uh, MIUI version over there. If we take, a, for example, a look at how the uh, dialer looks like, you can kind of see that um, you have most rounded design in the iOS version, iOS 10. Oops. A most rounded design in iOS 10, looks like the rounded uh, buttons to type here. Here you have a rounded button, of course, for calling, but you have more of a square design here. And here you have the most obvious, uh, less rounded design where they put it more into squares. I gotta say, my favorite one, which looks most mature in terms of design, I gotta say it's the uh, Mi Note. I mean, they've done a really good job at having a professional UI. The, I think that the iPhone feels, it looks a bit too childish and too rounded. And uh, I think that one actually comes last uh, at that little area. Uh, if we take a look at multitasking, that can be pretty interesting. So. Let's just open up another app here also. And that one. Okay, so multitasking is also very interesting because it's a little bit different on all of these. The OnePlus is uh, going up and down. Okay, with the close all button. This one is going to the sides with extremely smooth uh, UI, but not a like close all button, I think. Uh, this one is also a little bit like the iPhone, but it's just a little bit in the middle there. I think that it looks extremely cool with this like extreme scroll in the middle. Uh, it's kind of cool when it doesn't fill up the whole screen. Uh, but I really gotta say, I do admire all of these because they're all extremely cool in that little area. If you take a look at, for example, the um, uh, if we, we swipe down here, you can kind of see that uh, they all have very, very interesting different UIs for notifications. So here it is like very clean, used to notifications area and no things you can toggle fast. Uh, then you need to swipe from the bottom over there. Uh, here, basically where you see notifications is you see them come up over here. And this one can also go up at the top. It'd be very, very slim like so. So you can see all the notifications here. You can also go in and tweak this one uh, for more settings over there. Uh, 
and then of course the last one here which is very similar to this one but it has another little bit of a kind of reminds me about is samsung's android grace ux theme a little bit here with the, the kind of specific uh, cool color layout uh, i'm not sure if i dig this kind of green uh, weird color uh, i think it can be a little bit more fun uh, but still same here notifications here probably and a quick button up there to have it smaller or bigger okay uh, if you take for example look at the settings app which is an app of course you're going to use a lot uh, you can kind of also see that everyone looks extremely good you have the blue sort of theme here in the middle and then you have a very very colorful uh, icon layout here on the uh, iphone and uh, then this one is just like um, you also have you have a little bit less colors and a little bit more slim down icons uh, which is also looking very very nice it looks especially nice on this one on the me note because the text is a bit smaller you can probably change the text on this one also on, on this one but um, that that is an interesting thing uh, if we go down here okay so you can hold in on the screen here and also hold in uh, on the screen here for settings now you can't do that on the iphone and you can kind of see the OnePlus 3T has to kind of like the basic, very boring UI with wallpaper widgets and use a tiny little bit of customize. Uh, but when we take a look at the, um, I was hit the wrong button there. Uh, but when we take a look at this one, the MI UI clearly has the best UI here and the coolest effect, how it just pops up down there and you have a quick button for just effects it's just like very very well designed i really really like that i mean that is so well done here you don't even have a uh, cool transitions because this one is very very close to stock and don't even get me started on the iphone that definitely not have like cool effects like that in case uh, like you can get it if you jailbreak but most people won't do that and then also if we take a quick look here at the power off screen you can kind of see that you do get the most options on the Mi Note and least options on the iPhone but I gotta see the iPhone has the coolest kind of blur effect in the background this one doesn't even have it but a little bit more colorful buttons uh, yeah so quick little look there checking that out can also be interesting to know here how this one doesn't have any fingerprint sensor i mean this one doesn't have any real button i mean it has capacitive touch keys down here but it doesn't have any fingerprint sensor that can be a big thing you might want to have these days so the oneplus 3t has a built-in over here the iphone also has a built-in over here so that is quite interesting this one also has like a dual camera and this one has a little bit of a smaller camera there and this one has the coolest when it comes to being slim like it doesn't stand out it's not a protruding camera lens thing which is extremely nice in design it's also extremely nice how this one has this rounded glass design now if you would break it uh, drop this one you might want to get the case to, to this one this one has a very very hard i think metal or aluminum feel same uh, with the kind of like the iphone uh, but all are of course extremely well made phones and um yeah quick video talking a little bit about, about that and uh, yeah have an awesome day definitely let me know what specifics you want to say in the future and uh, yeah have a great day everyone and uh, peace